Society is doomed, scientists claim. There's never been a shortage of doomsday scenarios. From the dreaded Mayan apocalypse of 2012, remember that, to the havoc wreaked in the movie The Day After Tomorrow, people have been predicting the end of civilization for as long as there has been a civilization. The trouble is, they're sometimes correct, the Roman Empire fell spectacularly, as did the Mayan civilization, the Han Dynasty of China. India's Gupta Empire and dozens of other once mighty kingdoms. But how, exactly, do powerful empires collapse, and why? Researchers now believe they've found an answer, one that has troubling implications for today because we're clearly on the road to ruin. The researchers' first task was overturning the common impression that societal collapse is rare, or even largely fictional, as they wrote in their report, to be published in the journal Ecological Economics. In fact, they argue, the rise and fall of great social structures is so common a theme in human civilization recurrent throughout history and worldwide in scope that it's more the rule than the exception. Most studies of a society's collapse have looked at the specifics of how one civilization declined, citing individual causes such as a disaster, earthquake, flood, loss of resources, soil erosion, deforestation, or human conflict, war, uprising that led to the particular society's downfall. But the researchers, funded in part by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and the University of Maryland, College Park, cast a wider net. They aimed to create a useful mathematical model that could help analyze how any society might fall including our current global, technically advanced, interconnected society. The Balance of Nature the model they arrived at takes inspiration from the classic notion of predator versus prey, sometimes referred to as the balance of nature. When a deer population grows, for instance, the wolves that feed on those deer reproduce more successfully, too, and so the wolf population grows. Everything is fine until the wolves become too numerous and overreach, eating so many deer that there isn't enough venison to go around. Then, as the number of deer plunges, the wolf population drops due to famine, until equilibrium is re-established and the cycle begins anew. And formed by this paradigm, the researchers developed a relatively simple formula with four factors influencing social collapse, nature and natural resources, the accumulation of wealth, the elite and the commoners. The team calls their model human and nature dynamics, or handy. A handy tool. The researchers used the handy model to analyze three different social scenarios, an egalitarian society with no elite class, an equitable society with workers and non-workers, students, retirees, disabled persons, and an unequal society with a robust class of elites. The egalitarian and equitable societies could produce a sustainable civilization and avoid collapse, even with a high ratio of non-workers. Social collapse was more likely after people overreached and depleted natural resources. Importantly, even without any social stratification, collapse could occur if a society exhausted its natural resources. In the unequal society, however, collapse was almost unavoidable and these were the handy scenarios that mirrored our current globalized society. The Income Gap the scenarios most closely reflecting the reality of our world today are found in the third group of experiments, where we introduced economic stratification, the researchers wrote, referring to uneven wealth distribution. Under such conditions, we find that collapse is difficult to avoid. Other recent research backs up the author's claims, a 2012 study from the journal American Sociological Review shows that the income share of the top 1% of Americans grew rapidly after 1980 from 10% in 1981 to 23.5% in 2007, an increase of 135 percentage points. Meanwhile, the bottom three quarters of the U.S. population has seen slow economic growth, with predictable results. A 2011 study published in the journal Psychological Science found that happiness, 
trust in others and life satisfaction plummet when income inequality is high. Technology won't save you. For those who believe that there must be a technological fix to all this despair and destruction, the researchers found that the historical record provides testimony to the fact that advanced, sophisticated, complex and creative civilizations can be both fragile and impermanent. It may be reasonable to believe that modern civilization, armed with its greater technological capacity, scientific knowledge and energy resources, will be able to survive and endure whatever crises historical societies succumb to, the authors wrote. But the brief overview of collapses demonstrates not only the ubiquity of the phenomenon, but also the extent to which advanced, complex and powerful societies are susceptible to collapse. Not all is lost, however, societies can moderate the two factors that contribute most to social meltdown, the exploitation of natural resources and the uneven distribution of wealth, the researchers said. Collapse can be avoided and population can reach equilibrium if the per capita rate of depletion of nature is reduced to a sustainable level, and if resources are distributed in a reasonably equitable fashion, they wrote. Censorship One of the issues we are seeing, is censorship. Are governments preventing you from knowing what is about to happen, until it's too late? At this point one should grow with concern and become very paranoid. People don't think about such things because they are unpleasant and they don't feel they can do anything about them, but if more people actually did think about them, we could do something. We might never be completely safe, but we could significantly improve our odds over the status quo. Danger from two directions, ourselves and nature. Human technology is becoming more powerful all the time. We already face grave danger from nuclear weapons, and soon molecular manufacturing technologies and artificial general intelligence could pose new existential threats. We are also faced with slower, but serious, threats on the environmental side, global warming, ocean acidification, deforestation slash desertification, ecosystem collapse, etc. Looking back and saying things have been fine so far, why worry, is not satisfactory. We've only recently acquired technologies that can quickly and easily kill vast numbers of us while compromising the viability of the Earth, if only temporarily, and new more powerful technologies, that have huge upsides too, are on the horizon. Also, because of a kind of anthropic principle, we know that if we're sitting here saying nothing too bad happened before, it means we're still alive to think about it, we're a biased sample. If we play our cards right, our technology can help us deal with environmental problems while being used to immensely reduce suffering around the world, cures for more diseases, including those of aging, bringing more people out of poverty, etc. But even if we succeed on that side, we can't ignore natural disasters. As we become longer-lived individually, and stick around as a species, this increases our chances of being victims of a supervolcano or an asteroid striking the Earth. The dinosaurs didn't get wiped out because of bad luck, they stuck around for about 160 million years so something was bound to happen sooner or later. We need to design active and passive defense mechanisms against those threats, the details of those are a whole other post, but you can read something I wrote a while ago about deflecting earthbound asteroids, as well as make our human civilization more robust. Leaving all our eggs in the same basket for too long is dangerous. I expect that eventually space colonization will become feasible. Not necessarily other planets at first, but maybe giant space habitats made from raw materials harvested from the asteroid belt. With sufficiently advanced nanotech, this wouldn't be out of the question. But in the short term, what matters is understanding the risks better and raising awareness. To do this we can't be censored. Please share and like this maybe it will do some good. As always stay paranoid my friends.